do murder, empty your pockets after we're done up here. Um, so, we're also here to celebrate the opening of this show by Muhammad Ali Bhatti, um, an internationally known and recognized artist from Pakistan, um, phenomenal portrait artist, and as you can see, there are well, many sides to Muhammad. Um, you know, we've got a show in two parts. You've got, you've got his abstract work, which is not, his, his training was very classical, in classical portraits. He came to the U.S. and uh, in Ohio and started learning that there are other ways of looking at the art world, and uh, that's reflected in these abstract works. And then, for me, what I find really interesting is, is these works, you know, on the American West, the rodeo ones and the ranch images, and uh, you can see his ability to do portraiture in, in a bunch of these um, as well. But there's a youthful exuberance to these things that, you know, those of us who are Americans who have been here a long time and born here and so on, we're pretty jaded. Um, and so what I was fascinated me was you just saw the innocence, you know, sort of childlike innocence in this work coming from a man who's not that childlike or innocent. But, <laughs> but it's, it sort of, it gives us a view of, you know, what it's like to be an immigrant into this country. I mean, he sees, the, he sees the Wild West, the open frontier, in a way that we did when we were kids. And I think that's really cool. And, and might as well let Muhammad tell you about it instead of me talking about it. Thank you very much, Mary, for introducing me. And now you know I'm Muhammad Ali, I'm the original one. Yeah. And, um, and I want to thank you, everybody here, for coming to my show. And I have um, my family here, my son, my daughter-in-law and granddaughter, and my friends from Pakistan, you know, the progressive um, Pakistan-American society council members here as well, and we have with us Honorable Council General of Pakistan, Mr. Abraham Hashmi here with us. So thank you very much for being here. Um, as you know, I'm one of the members here since last few years at Archway Gallery, and this is my second show. And last time I put my meetings here, that was the early time of end of May, and it was mostly an on, online show, but this time I'm really glad to see all these wonderful people on, you know, in-person show here. And as um, Larry said, I'm originally from Pakistan. Um, now I'm a very proud American. We are citizen whole family here. Thank you, America, for <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um you see, I started um, my painting career from my early age, and I was trained to do portraiture. I was uh, trained, um, you know, in the studio of a great portrait artist in like, home in Pakistan. Now, all my life, I've been painting figurative and portraiture, and I have done so many portraits of uh, royal families, official private portraits. But when I came to the United States, I joined art school here in the University of Pennsylvania. I did my MFA there. And then after that, I actually went to Ohio University for my PhD in art history. And during that my studies, I found that art is not just the technique or expressing what you know. You know, it is not the skills of painting, it is not just the perfection of your technique, but there is something beyond you can imagine about painting, about the artworks. So during my program, PhD program, I actually learned to know what art is all about. It is just the technique, or your knowledge of greatness, or is something beyond, you know, to express your emotions, your ideas, and your expressions, you know, whatever you, you see around the world, as all contemporary world brings so many different ideas. So actually, beside my traditional portraiture practice, I continued painting uh, abstract. And 
I think uh, I'm very happy that I'm uh, not only a member here, but I'm being represented by two, three art galleries, one in Austin, Austin Galleries in Austin. I'm represented by Lourdes Gallery in Oklahoma. I am also represented by a few of the online galleries, like, um, you know, Higher Associates, Art Food Galleries, um, Saatchi, and, uh, you know, Black Art in America. They represent me too because they actually do my, you know, marketing, sell my paintings. And I'm very happy to share with you that very recently, my painting is selected for the auction. That is the Cowboy painting, CM Russell Museum, Montana. So my painting will be up there. Last year, my painting was selected, auctioned, and sold. So I'm very happy to be in this wonderful community of Art Fair Gallery. And um, again, I would say thank you to everybody. And I hope you will enjoy my paintings. And I, before I finish, I would like to invite my, my friend Chris Ayanizier, who is um, CEO and art curator. Uh, and I'm working with him as well. And I have a good question to say a few words. Please, Chris. So. Thank you, uh, Arch Gallery and the, all the art lovers. And I congratulate from the, from the outset Mr. Muhammad Ali Bhatti for his wonderful display. And I was just joking that I, I cannot read art as I would, but I have a lens to look at it. And my lens is cultures, geography, and uh, international relations. So I would spot it. I was trying to spot the maps the different cultures and few of those signs, especially on, in the abstract. So it's a wonderful uh, way of expression. It's a new way of expression. And if I tell you ever a diplomat has ever got a Nobel Prize, that was on literature <laughs> and art. That was a French man who got it. So uh, we are here uh, to represent uh, not only just uh, the culture in the country, but we are here to present people and their talent. And I'm so glad that US has adopted the best of the best and they were able to express, they were able to display, they were able to uh, go beyond those, stretch the boundaries, what they have seen in their culture. It's a splendid heritage, especially Muhammad Ali Bhatti belongs to, if he hasn't told you, I'll tell you it's the Sindh province in Pakistan.
and he has studied his uh, way through in the art and not only just in Pakistan but uh, internationally and that culture itself is such rich culture it's I think if, if I say the longest history of cohabitation on earth is that the province of Sydney in Pakistan and that's what he represents in his rich work and I thank you all for being here and being part of this journey. Thank you.